Welcome to Bible Shorts, Episode 6, The Search for a Bride, Part 2. Well, remember, in Episode 5, we heard all about how Abraham sent his oldest servant off to go north to the city where his family was from and find a bride for his son Isaac. And the servant, whom tradition says was called Eleazar, traveled north and finally stopped with his camels at a well outside the city where Abraham's brother had lived. And he met a girl called Rebecca, who turned out to be the granddaughter of Abraham's brother Nahor. And remember, he gave Rebecca a nose ring and two really expensive gold bracelets, and she took off for home to tell her brother Laban. Laban saw that nose ring and the bracelets and heard the story, and he hurried back to the well. So Laban brings Eleazar back to his house and sets food before him, but Eleazar doesn't want to eat until he has told Laban his errand. He is looking for a bride for his master's son. And the servant repeats the whole story about how he asked God to give him a sign that the girl that he asked for a drink of water, who gave it to him and then said, let me water your camels too, that she was the one and how Rebecca did all that. Plus, it turns out Rebecca is the granddaughter of Abraham's brother Nahor, so she must be the one he was sent to find. Then Laban, her brother, and Bethuel, her father, replied, Hmm, this thing is from the Lord. We cannot say anything good or bad. Look, Rebecca is here before you. Take her and go and let her become the wife of your master's son as the Lord has spoken. When Abraham's servant Eleazar heard their words, he bowed himself to the ground before the Lord and then brought out jewelry of silver and golden garments and gave them to Rebekah. And he also gave her brother and her mother costly ornaments. Then he and the men that had come with him ate and drank and when they spent the night. And when they got up in the morning, he said, let me go back. But her brother and her mother said, oh, let the girl remain with us a while, at least 10 days. After that, she may go. But he said, do not delay me since the Lord has made me successful. And let me go that I may go back to my master. And they said, well, we'll call the girl and ask her. And so they called Rebecca and they said, will you go with this man? And she said, yes, I will. So they sent away their sister, Rebecca, and her nurse, along with Abraham's servant and his men. Her family blessed her. And then Rebecca and her maids rose up, mounted the camels, and followed the man, Eleazar. Thus the servant took Rebecca and went his way. Now one evening, Isaac went out and was walking in the fields, and he saw camels coming. And Rebekah looked up, and when she saw Isaac, she slipped quickly from the camel and said to the servant, Who is the man over there walking in the field to meet us? And Eleazar replied, It is Isaac, my master's son. Then the servant told Isaac everything that he had done. And Isaac took Rebekah to his mother's tent. She became his wife, and he loved her. And so Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. What happens next? Look for Episode 7, The Trouble with Twins. <laughs> <laughs>